Uh, I've been aware of uh, uh, Kenji Fukasaku's films for uh, for a while. I have to say that it wasn't until I went to Japan that I was like introduced in a big way to Fight Without Jingi, one, two, and three. All right, and uh, I mean, he's, I think he did six of those or something like that. But it's like you know the first three. Uh, it was there when I really started getting uh, um, into like you know like uh, the backbone. Of, uh, of his work, but I've been a fan of his for a long time, and actually it's funny, because on one hand, <laughs> you know, we're saying, oh, this is really great, he's getting this recognition out here now, and it is, because he, you know, he wasn't really known by name that much, uh, you know, just as far as Western audiences were concerned. Um, uh, I mean, it's like, I go to Japan, and they're going to set me up to have dinner with him, and it's like, oh, you're meeting one of the greatest directors that we have, and this is such a big deal. Um, but... Um, Black Lizard actually play, got, had a re-release, all right, uh, in America, you know, in the art house circuit in uh, the early 90s. I mean, like around, like, 92, actually, around the time of, like, Reservoir Dogs, around 92. It had gotten rediscovered, all right, and it played on the film festival circuit, and it got a release. Uh, you know, not just in Los Angeles, in Los Angeles, New York, around, and whatever. And so it's like... That's pretty, you know, that's still more representation, all right, that uh, most Japanese directors uh, get out here, especially, you know, uh, for an older film, too. これで援助ろうか。そうさ。それで体の重みで一遍に押し合えんよ。Uh, my message would would be this: would be um, I'm well, I'm making it a point to kind of stay in Los Angeles towards the end of January, so I can you know go see some of the films. The, the point is, is uh, you know he's a, he's a terrific he's a terrific filmmaker, and this is like a it's kind of a big deal. This is a big deal that it's that, that they've that they've spent the money to strike new prints and have a, a, a sub you know, and so they're all subtitled, and you can see them in, in a in a, in a great environment, and it's just like, you know, if you, if you miss it now, you'll miss it for a while, all right? It's like, you know, it doesn't happen that often, all right? They've w made a big effort to do this. I remember, I think, uh, I, they might have struck new prints recently or something like that, but I, th I heard that, like, the first big retrospective that they did of his work was at the Locarno Film Festival about a year ago. That's when all this started happening. I remember reading about it. I was like, oh, man, they showed a retrospective of Kenji Hukasaku's work at the Locarno Film Festival. Those lucky dogs. All right, you know, so now we're lucky dogs. <laughs> um, you know, I, I guess I would say um, uh, uh, the Yagu Conspiracy. The movie that the, that's part of the retrospective that the the TV series uh, the Yago Conspiracy was based on. Um, also, he, uh, I, I I love Fight Without Jingy, but also, and I kind of think of the Fight Without Jingy movies kind of together. You know, like at least the first three. Um, I love the fact that he uses Sonny Chiba, who I'm a big fan of. He uses him a lot. All right, uh, and you know, actually, my favorite. You know, actually, my favorite. Uh, uh, Movie by Kinji is not atypical. It's a, uh, 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 and it's not in the retrospective. It's a uh, Legend of the Seven, um, um, the English title. I don't know what the Japanese title it was. Uh, Legend of the Eight Golden Samurai, or Legend of the Eight Samurai. I think Golden Samurai. And actually, what it is, is I thought he did this movie in the 70s, and then when Message from Space, uh, then when Star Wars came out, they just rewrote it and did it as a Star Wars thing, which is what Message from Space is. And actually, it's the reverse. He had done, actually, Message from Space first, and then turned it into a samurai story that takes place in feudal times. All right? 
And um, I remember, like, even reading in a Japanese book, it's like a lot of like people who really are like samurai films don't like the movie. They think it's just like too uh, kiddy or too you know uh, non traditional and everything. But it's just so much fun. It's so much fun. He literally, it's. I mean, I thought it was this really cool samurai film that they twisted and turned uh, to turn uh, to do his, his Star Wars homage. All right, but it actually started the other way around, which shows you where it's coming from. But it's really, really terrific. It's got some really, really good stuff in it. All right. Uh, yes, I think, I mean, I think in this gangster film, it's probably just more anything else than um, just the attitude. All right, you know, he doesn't romanticize his gangsters. I don't romanticize them either. They end up kind of becoming kind of romantic despite themselves. But it's not because we're trying to you know, uh, clean up after them or uh, present them in this uh, different way. I guess we are presenting them in a different way, but we're not trying to clean up their image when we're, when we're presenting it to you. We're just showing them warts and all, brutality and all, but then you, you still get them. No, <laughs> 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 こんなのこったこの上田川リンジャー。水流して使え。そう言ってもらえ、わしらの方は。まあまあ、これあの、そっちらで手厚に本持って使え。最初じゃが。これ、前それの足にしてろ。いやいやいや、そんなことしたら、
Uh, yeah, just go out and, and uh, 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 go see these brand new prints of these movies and enjoy. Super. Welcome to America!